My name is Saki. How long has it been since I fought alongside my sister and Anna? Oh, with two ends now, they fixed it. The wounds I suffered during the battle with Himiko have totally healed, without even leaving scars. Although, my lack of scars is most likely due to the baneful blood. Himiko and Reiko talked about its immortal power. Maybe I have managed to unlock it? Maybe that's why they come after me, and not my sister. Could it be because my mom's baneful blood was somehow special? Just what... what is the baneful blood? Alright, we're moving on to Saki's story. Oh, it's telling me the controls again. Well, thanks, because it's been a while since the last session. Let's start with something strong. Ugh. <sighs> oh, yuck. Tonight's drink of choice is vodka, because it's all I have left. Ugh. Christ. Vodka's so bad. Ugh, oh, tequila master race any day. Oh, it's, it's telling me in this that I can do character change, but I know that's not a thing yet. It, if this is the same menu it showed me at the very beginning, then maybe I'm a complete idiot for not knowing to do the B and Swish thing. Because it's telling me right now. Oh yeah, Saki, looking cool. Undead. Oh no, if I get their blood on me. But this can't be happening. I may slip into that rampage again. A rampage in which I am no longer myself. I can't stand to be controlled by my blood and simply- Okay, never again. This time, I'll remain in control. <laughs> Those subtitles were way too fast. This one, though, I'll use the baneful blood as my own power. Ah, I hope my sister's okay. As the camera clips through randomly faced enemies. I guess I'll have to fight my way through to find her. Could this be the fate of those with the baneful blood? Very well. No matter how many of you stand in my way, I'll carve out a future for myself with this sword. Alright, we're on a Saki story, the bloody wheel of life. Yes, tell me about beat mode. I can press the C button on the nunchuck to perform a mode change switch between sword and beat modes. Yeah, that's just like the dual sword thing. Beat mode you can attack by swinging the nunchuck to dash towards your target. If you touch the target, you will grab them, and the enemy can then be thrown in any desired direction by pushing the control stick and swinging the nunchuck again. Bosses can only be thrown from behind. In addition, during a throw, in the instant time slows down, you can perform an extra command with the Wii Remote for special killing throws versus a Mudman, for example. Swing the nunchuck and start throw in the instant time slows down thrust with the Wii Remote. Also, that's, that's the same thing as before. So let's switch to beat mode. Uh, let's uh. Okay, let's uh. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let me uh. Okay, it's uh, taking me a bit to get a hang of it. Okay, so I gotta I gotta do the shake, and then I do the shake again with the direction, I guess. Or no, it's sometimes it just doesn't work too. Well, let's just do some punching. All right, I forgot I'm supposed to be locking on all the time because it's impossible to fight otherwise because I'm not using a controller for human hands, but that's all right, because we're not human. We're uh, the bane, the baneful creatures. Vampires, I guess? I think, I guess they're just vampires. All right. Forgot, I don't know how to use that very well. Yeah, throw it off the hands. I guess we're going this way. This looks like the way to go. Let's, let's just, let's just sort it up. Whoop. Don't forget, nope, we gotta... Whew! Can you tell it's been a while? So on, I mean, on YouTube, it's this is just gonna be the next episode. But as for live streaming, this was like a week and a half ago, maybe? I don't, I don't super know. It's been a, it's been a bit. And of course, there was drinking then, there's drinking now. As always. There, oh, that's actually, uh... Oop! Oops! 
So apparently I can do this a cool thing by uh, by when I grab someone. Go into beat mode. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, to be completely honest with you. I can still do kicks when I have the sword out. So I still got that, uh... So I still have that guard break if I really need it. Get up! I can't slash you on the ground. Well, I mean, I probably could, but I don't know how to play this game. I I don't think I will ever possess mastery over over this game. And that's fine, right? I forgot things don't break ever. Oh, yep, caged in. That means we have to fight. The uh, I do like the idea of the the Wii Mo occasionally making noise. I guess it's uh it's the Wii Motion Plus. A friend at work asked me, because I, I was telling him about the woes of doing the jab thing and it not working. He's like, oh, is it Wii Motion Plus? Because the Wiimote got better with Wii Motion Plus. And I was like, oh, I, I don't know. I didn't think to look. And now I'm looking and it does say Wii Motion Plus. So this is the best it can be. The TV is a bit loud, though. I think I could stand to turn it down. I don't know if there's any echo on stream or not. But I think uh, after slashing this group of uh, friends, I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down. Because, I mean, the sound effects aren't exactly uh, noteworthy. I'm not going to write home and talk about the amazing... Well, no, the soundtrack is pretty cool. Let's, let's not mince words here. I think the soundtrack is pretty cool. It's just the sounds, uh, you know, it's, it's just the, kind of the same thing over and over again. Let's get rid of the blood. Let's switch back to punching. I can't... I should, uh... Oh, no, that's over. I, I want to be able to... Because I do remember that in the previous game, the charge thing. I just never really got the hang of it. I really would like to get the hang of it. Because, I don't know, I, I want to be able to play the game, you know, I, if, if not gain a mastery over it, at least just play it properly. I remember around the end it was it was throwing a lot of shit at me. And, uh, and I just, I don't, you know, I don't want to be a master, I just want to play the game. I just want to experience all the things, because, like, the way I'm playing it, pretty straightforward. I'm just approaching things and attacking them. Uh, and I just want to know what more the game has to offer. And there's like little to no range on the punches. It's very direct, so... With the sword, you can hit a lot more things in the area at once, which is kind of nice. Lots of accidental attacks. Kind of cool that the, uh, the Wiimote makes the noise. Although, if it drains the battery faster, I'd rather it didn't. Because I asked the friend that lent it to me how exactly one charges these if they die, and he's like, oh, it, it uses double-A batteries. And I'm like, oh my god. Because you see, as as a PlayStation guy, I I guess I was spoiled. Because there was always the console wars. Like, I knew Wii was inferior, and I, I thought 360 and PS3 were just the same thing, but you had your choice. And then I played a 360 game, which happened to be the prequel to this one, as well as a couple others. And it's like, nah, the 360 really is trash as a console, and like, compared to PS3, it really is just not nearly as good. And, I mean, the Wii I knew. But, I didn't... I'm, I'm learning more now. Actually, I'm playing on a Wii U, which isn't fair to say, but like, learning things about just, you know, it's dog shit resolution and stuff the way the controllers work, or rather they don't, and just stuff in general. And, uh, you know, with, with as a PlayStation guy, it was like, as soon as we went wireless, we did it well. Like, of course, you know, er, all, consoles, like, a generation went wireless at the same time. It was always wired controllers, and then it was the PS3, 360, Wii era. It's like, no, we don't need wires anymore, we're good. 
And whereas PS3 was like, yeah, just plug it into the console and it'll charge and everything's fine. Great, cool, smart. 360 was like, no, we have a battery pack. You need to put batteries in it. Buy batteries continuously to play it. I, I bought an adapter that just treats it like a corded controller. And my fight pad for playing Guardian Heroes uh, is just essentially... Oh, I didn't turn the volume down like I said I would. I better do that. Anyways, as I was saying... <clears throat> so, <clears throat> when I discovered that uh, this uses AA batteries, I was like, well, I mean, of course, if 360 was doing it, Wii was probably doing it too, but it just never occurred to me because... As as a PlayStation owner, it was just like no, we just had it. We just did it right the first time, so I didn't think. I just assumed everyone else was also doing it right the first time, but they were using batteries. Now, like I, it was it was definitely a topic I enjoyed talking about during the 360 one, because that was my first time really playing through a 360 game, and and learning about it firsthand instead of just you know, what, what people were commenting about. And people that comment online are fucking retarded anyway, so you, you can't take reviews seriously, you can't take comment sections seriously, especially comment sections, it's their literal cancer. But, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I was, so I was, now that I'm finally getting hands-on with these other consoles from this gen, it's like, fuck, who, who in their right mind would argue that PS3 wasn't the best? Are you fucking retarded? Just look at it! Like, I always knew, sure, but I I thought people would always over-exaggerate and that they were on somewhat equal footing, but it's like, now that I'm playing them, it's like, Jesus Christ, there was no question, there was no competition. Any Anyone that, like, I, I get it, you made your purchase and you stuck to it, and like, you know, you can stick to a brand and that's fine. I mean, let's let's not forget, my, my favorite console is the Sega Saturn, and uh, and Sega's dead now. So clearly I was rooting for the wrong team at the start of this race. But uh, it's like, no question, Sony was doing it. Say what you will about the libraries, but when it comes down to just the console itself and the ease of use and just just the console and everything about it. Like I understand PS3 had a bit of trouble <clears throat> when it was starting out. when Because uh, it was a little, little troublesome to program for, so when a multi-console game would come out, the PS3 version would come out a little bit later. Not too much later, but, you know, it's it was an annoying thing. But that was only for a little bit, but like, otherwise it's like, yeah, no, this is, this is the better option, easily. Yeah, I think this is going backwards. I mean, there's a zombie this way. Oh, there's zombies spawning this way. That That's a good way to know that I have not been over here. Because they'd be dead. And not here at all, if that, if that were the case. So yeah, the uh, I know I'm super late. Where where <laughs> this is the previous generation? Well, I guess it was two generations ago for uh, Nintendo because they've had the Wii U and now the Switch. And the Switch looks like it is, despite how much I shit on Nintendo all the time, the Switch seems to be very good and has a lot of games I would like to play on it that Sony is not getting, as I think I spoke about in previous episodes of this. So good for Nintendo. You're finally relevant. It's been a while, but uh, you're relevant again. That's great. I'm, you know, I'm happy for it. I'm, I'm almost in the blood thing. I think there's supposed to be a goddess statue on the way though, so it's gonna be okay. Or maybe I'll just let it rock since it's so close to the end of the stage. If this goes where I think it's gonna go, I I don't super know how to read the map thing. But uh, for the most part, yeah, it's... Oh, here it comes. For the most part, it's when it comes down to the console wars thing of the previous generation, it's it's like, nah, it's, it, it was Sony. <laughs> you were just lying to yourself and the people around you if you thought otherwise. And it, you know, it's it's fine to be happy with, with the brand you've stuck to or the consoles your parents bought you so you didn't have much of a choice. But it's like, nah man. Just look at it. Just look. Does my reach get bigger? I feel like I have a big old wave at the end of my sword slash. It's increasing my reach as well. Lost like three pips of health already. So 
So I'm thinking maybe I should go to the goddess statue after this. If I take a hit, I think I'm going to lose those four pips. I think they're regeneratable until I take a hit. I don't, I don't super understand how that works. Oh boy. Guys, I'm getting real low on health. I don't know if items transfer over from the from Aya's story. I think this is the way to the goddess statue. Yeah, the health is getting real low. It's not looking good. Let's uh maybe let's run a bit. Oh no, this is just the end of the stage now. Okay. I, I missed the goddess statue and just went straight to the end of the stage. I can't be expected to read a map. I'm an idiot. Oh, I got 12 point gets. That's a whole bunch of points. All right, so the new that chapter. I like how our animation has that little twitch in it. When you're insane with rage and power, I think twitching is really cool. I've killed many undead again, and as I did so, I started to enjoy it. The blood and gore of the undead covering my entire body feels indescribably good. I... I can't return to the normal girl that my sister wants me to be. The primal fighting instinct of the baneful blood. Misery's parting words still linger, confusingly, in my heart. Does the baneful blood desire combat, or does the baneful blood simply respond to it? If I continue to bathe in their blood like this, will I too turn into a monster like Misery or Himiko? If that happens, will Sis kill me? Save me by killing me? No, I mustn't think negative thoughts. Sis would get mad again. I just need to concentrate on meeting up with her. So this story is moving at a similar pace as the other one, where nothing is happening and we are just pondering about the baneful blood. Hold on a second, I just realized now that I didn't have the wrist strap on. Well, I think it's, uh... Okay. Okay, so the times when I was screwing it up, it's because I wasn't holding a direction while I, when I did it. Okay. What's the... One, two, three. Okay, so she can also do the grab thing. Because I remember it was... it was... I vaguely remember it telling me how to deal with mud men. <laughs> And I kind of forgot. And I was like, did that have something to do with the grab? And then I had I wanted to check to make sure that I can still do the, the heart grab that uh, I was taught playing as Aya. And it appears that I can. So I'm glad that I can just continue to rely on that old method. <clears throat> there was a... There was actually one of the YouTubers I like, which is a... Goes by Matt McMuscles. He was uh, of the previous Super Best Friends that I liked to watch. I really liked that channel a lot. Really sad that they're not doing videos anymore. Cause like all like they all have side channels, and they're fine, but they're just not as good as when they were all together. Oh, a cutscene. Ah, Reiko. Don't tell me. You're planning on winning by sheer numbers again? Well, they do look exactly like me, so I guess it can't be helped. But I'd rather you didn't lump me in with those inferior mass-produced models. It doesn't sit well with me. Ha, huh, that's rich. If they look like you, they're the same as you. Spirited as always, all well and good. Now, let's get to work. I'm here to take some of your blood, Saki, my dear. This will only hurt a little. Take my blood. Oh yeah. Stop stop shooting me. I forgot how to play. Yeah, let's get some of that off just real quick. Come on, get up, get up. Oh yeah, I can only do it from behind. Nothing happens. <laughs> it didn't even give me like a like a deflection animation. 
I can still punch though. I can like punch out of it, so that's okay. I wanna I wanna get to the other side of her. I guess it's gonna be a little hard. Oh she has a gun though. Aw oh, dang it. No, nah, it's it's too tough. Let, let's just get the sword back out. Let's stop dicking around. Oh, she's doing the thing! She's doing the thing! Well, too bad for you. I'm playing on easy, and I don't give a fuck. There we go. Now give me the big ball. Yeah, suck up that big ball. Love sucking up them big balls. I'm realizing this as I put the controller down so I can grab a drink instead. And I'm like, yeah, this wasn't attached to me last time. So with that, I'd like to apologize to Rob for misusing your Wii U by not using the wrist strap that first time. I mean, I am dearly sorry. She wasn't like the Reiko that I've encountered before. I don't know how to put this well, but I sensed humanity from her for the first time. A sample of baneful blood. If it was possible to totally remove all of the baneful blood from my body, I could become a regular girl, a sister to Aya. Maybe I wouldn't have to swing a sword anymore. Maybe... I could walk in the sunlight. I wonder, what happened to my mom? Did she fight as well? How did she meet my father? Why did she give birth to me when she knew I may inherit her bloodline? I know, I have no way of asking her now. Despicable bloodline. One thing I would also like to note is that, uh, oops. I keep thinking that's the lock on button because I forgot everything. You know, with the, uh, the incredible stupidity that I inadvertently wield. But, uh, there's like a, there's like a little demo reel that plays. It's not like a gameplay, it's, it's, it is a video of gameplay. But mixed in with that gameplay is a bit of CG. Oh, there's the, there's the fence. So I gotta think that there's gonna be a CG cutscene in here somewhere. It's this blue thing. Alright, don't tell me what it is, it's fine. But uh, whatever the case, I'm I'm sure that we will eventually reach a CG cutscene and I'm excited to see it. Wow, locking on to that bird was a mistake. Not one I chose though, that was just the next the next target was bird. There was a the the other day at work. It was very busy, and someone said, what's the word? And I paused and I was like, bird? And he's like, haha, great family guy reference. And I, and I became visibly upset. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? Family guy took that. Family guy doesn't have original content. How dare you ever think I'm making a family guy reference? If I do, it's an accident. Because family guy doesn't have original content. Oh, I got a level up from collecting all the yellow balls, and there's so many! Ow, don't shoot me, I'm collecting the yellow balls. There's nothing, it's not against the law to do so, police officer. <clears throat> so I got this, uh, I'm currently sitting on memory foam. Because I bought this, uh, I think I was talking about it earlier, but I had this uh, pelvis injury that I'm recovering from. Oh, they, the birds just stop flying sometimes. They just get tired. They just get sick of it. They get sick of it all. I like to lock onto this bird. Do I have a projectile as her? What was the, uh... I can taunt the bird. This bird's really confused about how to bird. I don't think I have a ranged attack. No, I don't think I do. I can, I can charge the bird. Oh yeah, I guess I have a, I guess I can swing up. I just have to be holding back when I do it. All right. Oh, it's, oh, this is gonna be tough. I mean, I, I hit them all the time by accident. There we go, that's one. No, lock onto this one right here. Stop it. This is... 
This is a video game, folks. Why does it keep going to this one spot if it's gonna get stuck? Why does this keep going to this one spot if it's gonna get stuck? How did that not hit it? Stop. Stop it. Don't... Don't put birds anymore. Birds are the devil. I forgot... Oh yeah, memory foam. Okay. So, because I had that... Whoop, I had that pelvis injury. You know, I've been I've been spending some money on uh, life bettering things. I I probably I don't it's not related, but uh, I bought an air purifier a bit ago, and uh, now I can sleep. Like I haven't slept well in years. I, I I use melatonin to help me get you know just any sleep at all, but it was very little. But I mean, without it, it was literally nothing. So that that was whatever. And, uh, and then I got an air purifier just because I wanted to reduce the, the dust and shit in my room. And, uh, and then I, then I just started sleeping. So that was it. That was the game changer. 